Hello and welcome to Faithfully Stampin' with Jennifer Helm. I am the faithful stamper, Jennifer Helm, and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be making a gift card holder. This was inspired by Terry Gaines, who is a fellow demonstrator. And it's a simple gift card holder made out of cardstock um, with a little bit of a twist. It looks like a regular card, but when you open it up, there is a gift card pocket created by a punch on the inside cover that you can just slip a gift card in and then you have plenty of room to write your message. So you do not require a lot of supplies for this and I'm going to teach you right now how to make it. So the first thing you're going to need is a scoring tool and a piece of cardstock that is 11 inches by 5 inches. And what we're going to do is just score it two times. So I'm going to bring over my paper trimmer. So we're going to be scoring it at three and three quarters and seven and a half. And that's on the 11 inch side. So three and three quarters and seven and a half. And that's all the scoring that you need to do to create this card. Next, you're going to mountain fold on both of your score lines. So what that means is create a mountain with it. So up to the sky. Crease and then reopen and then the same thing. Create another mountain. So instead of forming a W, basically you're creating an upside down U. So now the next thing we're going to do is create our little punch for where we're going to slip the gift card into it. And so what we need to do is find the shortest panel of these. Two of them are the same width so these two this one when you fold it in is just a little bit shorter so that's the one you want to punch on my one of my favorite punches is our tailored tag punch and that is what i'm going to use for this i kind of have it on my must haves list and what i'm going to do here is just put it on that end that shorter panel of cardstock centered top to bottom and i'm going to push it as far as my punch will go and then punch and this I could use on the front, but I'm going to save it for another project. And this way, when I fold my gift card holder, that's going to close, and then this forms the remainder of the card. But this tailored tag punch comes in handy for so many things, so I highly recommend it. Um, to be part of your stamp and stash. If you do not have a demonstrator you're currently working with, please feel free to reach out for me if you'd like a paper catalog and I'll be happy to send it to you. And if not, you can hop on over to the faithfulstamper.stampinup.net and check out the online catalog. So the next thing I'm going to do is put some tear and tape to close my, my little gift card pocket. So to do that, I'm going to put it here along the edge and one of my favorite little tricks that I ever learned is when I'm using tear and tape to tear the end I take a square block and just pull back with the tape against it and that just gives me a nice clean edge instead of a jagged edge and then I can use my take your pick tool to quickly lift off the edges of my tear and tape. Now I'm going to flip this around just so you can see a little bit better, but my recommendation is when you fold this, start to fold it and then put your fingers down here near the crease and press down and then up towards where you put that tape and that way you won't have a bubble um, when you go to seal that shut. And then um, we're just going to assemble this that your tag ends up being on the inside of the cover and we're just going to attach it to a card base that we're going to create. So you will need a piece of cardstock. It can be matching color or a different color. I used matching crumb cake here. This is five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I'm going to layer that with a piece of early espresso that is five and a quarter by four. Now to attach these two pieces together, I'm going to use Stamp and Seal Plus. It is my favorite adhesive that we have. It is great for all kinds of things. We do have our stamp and seal, but stamp and seal plus is a little bit stronger. It has these segmented pieces and 
it's great for 3D projects. And I just want to make sure that this is not going to come apart before my gift recipient really gets to enjoy it. So I've layered that together with Stamp and Seal Plus, but to attach the actual gift card holder portion, I'm going to go back to my tear and tape. So what I'm going to do is just take tear and tape along all four edges and then put one piece down the middle as well. This way I know it's just got a really firm grip and it's not going to come loose. This does have a little more weight given that it's a three-fold panel than your typical card would. So that's why I just opted for the extra security of the tear and tape. So once that's done, I'm just going to give this a quick burnish with my fingers. I like to make sure this tape is really solidly on my cardstock. And then back to my take your pick tool to help me get the edges off of my tape. Otherwise you would see me struggling for an hour to try to pick it up with my fingernails. Nobody wants to be here that long. And then one last one. And then I'm going to fold it shut. Get rid of that little crumb. And then this just gets centered right on top of that base I already layered together. So all you need to do now is decorate. Now if you opted for a darker colored cardstock, you would want to put a panel of basic white or another lighter color in so that you can have room to write. Your measurements for that would be three and a half inches wide by four and three quarters of an inch tall. And that would be the same for a piece of designer series paper if you were to layer that on the front here for decoration. And again, that's three and a half inches wide by four and three quarter inches tall. Now I opted to do something different for my decoration. I am using the Peaceful Cabin stamp set for my words and little accents, but I'm using the cabin dies to decorate the front. So I have pre-cut out this little cabin. If you are using a detailed die such as this, I highly recommend putting adhesive sheets on the back. It just makes it so much more simple than trying to get glue on all these little pieces without having glue all over the front of your card. I did not use adhesive sheets when I put this one together and it was a struggle, I have to tell you. So adhesive sheets makes this go a lot simpler. It's basically just extra wide tear and tape. So I'm going to peel the adhesive off the back of my cabin piece and this one is coming off in tiny little pieces. I'm going to do the same thing with my trees that I'm going to add for accent. Now, the trick with this, if you're going to do what I'm going to do and layer some trees behind it, is not to stick your, um, your the top of your cabin portion on completely until you're ready. I did that on one of these I made on a different video and it was close to being a disaster. So I'm just going to press the bottom down firmly. I'm going to leave the top up for just a second so I can put my little trees. And you can see how it's on the adhesive sheet, the backing there, and it just really aids in getting this put together. So what I'm going to do is just pop these little trees behind. I'm sort of, I'm making this tree look larger than it actually is but that way I can take advantage of the die set. And then this little guy goes here, and now that I've got my trees on, now I'm gonna push down the rest of my cabin, and that went much smoother than my Facebook Live video. Now, another great thing your take your pick tool is great for is if you have any little pieces that want to stick, you can hopefully nudge them out. Of course, this one's gonna be difficult. Oh, there it goes, with your, um, little piercing tool. There we go. Let's see if I can get this last one. This one I knew was going to be persnickety because I was going on camera. There we go. 
Maybe. All right. Always on camera when you're not going to edit. I'm gonna come back and clean that up because you don't wanna watch me fidget with that all night. But you can see the idea that you can fish out these little pieces with this little piercing tool. Now, to finish this card, I'm going to create a little label for the front using the For You stamp from the Peaceful Cabin set. And then while I have my ink out, and this is early espresso ink, I'm going to just stamp a little snowflake swirl on the inside corners. And that way, it's just not plain Jane on the inside. I'd like a little something. And then back to the front. I'm going to use the Label Me Fancy punch that we have to cut out my label. This gets popped on the front with dimensionals. And then this is perfectly lovely and there is a stamp that goes with the set that I could have done smoke coming out of the chimney but I decided to add a little bling. These are some of our epoxy shapes. We have a set it has, um, I promise they're not as difficult as they look. These are just giving me fits tonight. Um, we have frosted um, shapes. Good gravy. There we go. And we have um, these, which look more like mirrored surfaces. And I promise they're not this persnickety usually. And I'm just going to pop a couple of these on the card just to give it a little something and fill up that empty space there at the top. I really liked how that looked, even when I put them on crooked. Okay, so there is your quick and easy gift card holder that is just the right size for a gift card. Now, you do have a little room to play here with your gift card, so an idea that I had is if you don't like how it might slide out, just take a tiny little glue dot and put it right behind the end here of your gift card, and that'll just anchor it in place, and it won't go anywhere and slide out on your recipient. Now, if you're thinking, well, I don't have the tailored tag, but I do have some other tags or punches in, um, in my stamping inventory, don't worry. All you need is a stamp uh, a punch that falls between about two and an eighth of an inch and two and a quarter of an inch wide or tall and that will be the perfect width for your gift card so this is another gift card holder that I made featuring our brand new Eden's garden stamp set and matching dies and for this one I used a different shape label here and it's different shape than that tailored tag punch, but it still serves the same purpose and that it's the right width for me to slide a gift card into. This one, I just did a little accent stamping. You can see here I did need the Whisper White panel on the inside. And these do fit perfectly in a regular card envelope, just like so. And then a little sneak peek of a brand new set that is coming in January. This is the blessings of home stamp set as a demonstrator i am lucky enough to be able to pre-order some goodies and get to play with them before they have, are available to the public so this is one of those stamp sets and it has beautiful designer series paper and then again i used a different kind of punch on the inside but still serves the same purpose so there are our quick and simple and absolutely beautiful gift card holders so I really hope you enjoyed learning how to make this. I'd be happy if you would subscribe to this YouTube channel and check out the other videos that I post here. I typically post two a week. And you can click that notifications bell and then be notified whenever I post a new video. If you are a Facebook 
friend, you can hop on over to Facebook and find me at The Faithful Stamper and follow my page there. I do live videos twice a week and I post pictures of other projects and workshops that I offer. So I would love to see you over there on that page too. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Take care and happy crafting.